welcome to the instant biology in the last video we talked about genetics and genetic terminology now our topic of discussion is mendelism so to understand mendelism please follow the last video i have given link in the descriptions now come to mendelism the principle of inheritance proposed by the mendel is called mendelism an austrian priest gregor john mendel conducted a historical experiment on garden pea pisum sativa in the augustan monastery garden from 1856 to 1864 for about 9 years by analyzing his result he published a paper titled experiment in plant hybridization in a journal named the annual proceeding of natural history society of brun in the year of 1866 from 1866 to 1900 for about 34 years mendel work was unnoticed by scientific world in the year 1900 Three scientists from different corners of the world: Hugo de Vries from Holland, who worked on Oenothera; Karl Korens from Germany, who worked on GMH; and Erich von Tesmark from Austria, who worked on flowering plant, rediscovered Mendel's works. In the many book, it has written that Mendel postulated the laws of inheritance. Actually, Mendel did not give any law. It was Karl Korens who thought that Mendel discovery could be presented by the phenomenon of dominance and recessiveness law of segregation and law of independent assortment so the law of segregation is the first law of mendel next comes to the phenomenon of dominance and recessiveness it states that when an organism is heterozygous for a particular character means it has two different alleles for that gene the allele which express is known as dominant allele the allele which do not express is known as the recessive allele this can be explained with monohybrid cross as you know the genetic cross which involves inheritance of a single pair of contrasting characters is known as the monohybrid cross let the character height the character height have been two contrasting form tall and dwarf in the p plant capital t is the allele which control the tallness and small t is the allele which control the dwarfness mendel in his monohybrid cross Cross two p plants. One is homozygous tall, having genotype capital T capital T, and another is homozygous dwarf, having genotype small t small t. Here tall and dwarf forms the parental generation. During gamete formation, tall plant forms gamete carrying allele capital T capital T. Dwarf plant forms gamete carrying allele small t small t. By the process of fertilization, gametes of both these parents combine randomly. Capital T small t. Capital T small t, capital T small t, capital T small t. Due to the random fusion of the gametes that produce the plants of F1 generation. Here F stands for the filial, which means offspring. One stands for the first. Technically, this is known as first filial generation. If it is parental generation, it is the baby generation. Here all the plants of F1 generation possesses two different alleles for height, capital T and small t. Being the contents to different alleles for height, they are called as hybrid. Technically, we can call them as F1 hybrid. Out of the two alleles for height, capital T is the allele which expresses. When capital T expresses, it produces the tall character. So, capital T is the dominant allele. The tall is the dominant character. In presence of capital T. The small t is unable to express, so small t is the recessive allele, and the dwarf, the character that is produced by the small t, is known as the recessive character. According to phenomenon of dominance and recessiveness, a heterozygous individual carries two different alleles for a particular character. Out of these two alleles, the allele which express is known as dominant allele. The allele which do not express is known as the recessive allele. The phenomenon of dominance and recessiveness having some limitations in competitiveness and co-dominance. We will prepare a separate video to discuss it. Next comes to the law of segregation. The law of segregation is the first law of the Mendel. Segregation means separation. The law of segregation states that every diploid organism possesses two alleles for a particular character. These two alleles segregates or separates from each other. During gamete formation, and only one allele goes into each gamete. This law can be explained with monohybrid cross, 
by taking the character height. When you cross two P plants, one is homozygous tall, having genotype capital T capital T, another is homozygous dwarf, having genotype small t small t. Here, tall and a dwarf plant forms the parental generation. During gamete formation, tall plant forms gamete carrying allele capital T, dwarf plant forms gamete carrying allele small t. By the process of fertilization, these two gametes fuse to form F1 hybrid. This F1 hybrid having the two allies for height, capital T and small t. According to phenomenon of dominance and recessiveness, capital T is the dominant allele, so capital T express. When capital T express, it produces the tall character. So that height of the F1 hybrid is tall. In this F1 hybrid, the dominant allele capital T, recessively small t, remain present together throughout the lifetime without being contaminating or mixing with each other. But capital T, that is the dominant allele, that influence small t and small t is influenced by the capital T. Being the capital T, the dominant allele, which do not allow small t to express. So, small t remain suppressed in this F1 hybrid. At a maturity, this F1 plant develops power. When gamete formation occurs in this flower, the dominant allele capital T and decisive allele small t, they separate from each other and one enter into is gamete. So, the law of segregation was postulated to explain this allelic separation during the gametogenesis or during the gamete formation. This plant is heterozygous term or this plant is the genetical impure. But each gamete is the genetical pure because they contain only one allele per height. Being the gametes are pure, the law of segregation also known as law of purity of the gametes. Mendel allowed selfing of F1 hybrids or selfing F1 hybrid forms two types of gametes, capital T and small t. These gametes of F1 hybrids combine randomly, capital T, capital T, capital T, small t, capital T small t and small t small t. Due to the random combination of the F1 gametes that produces plants of F2 generation. Out of four plants of F2 generation, first plant is homozygous tall, second plant is heterozygous tall, is a heterozygous tall, is a homozygous dwarf. Out of the four plants, the three plants are tall, one plant is dwarf. So, the phenotypy ratio is 3 is to 1, that the three plant tall, one plant is dwarf. Out of the four plants, one plant have been genotype, capital T, capital T. The two plants have been genotype, capital T, small t. And one plant have been genotype, the small t, small t. So, the genotype ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Appearance of homozygous dual plant in F2 generation helps Mendel to conclude that the F1 tall plants never be homozygous tall. Instead, they should be heterozygous tall, containing different alleles for the height. Capital T is the dominant allele, small t is the recessive allele. During gamete formation, capital T the dominant allele, small t the recessive allele, they separate from one another and during the process of fertilization, they combine at random. Due to the random gametic union, that causes formation of the recessive dwarf during the F2 generation. So, this is the basis of the law of segregation. Next law is law of independent assortment. Law of independent assortment is the second law of the Mendel. It states that alleles of one gene assort out into gametes independently alleles of another gene. Or a simple concept, alleles of one gene do not depend upon alleles of another gene to assort out into gametes or transfer from one generation to next generation. In a common language, we can define the law of independent assortment is that genes for one character do not depend upon genes for another character to transfer from one generation to next generation. We can explain the law of independent assortment by the help of Mendel's dihybrid cross. In dihybrid cross, Mendel considered two characters of the PCA, color and cell. The color having two contrasting form, yellow and green. The capital Y is allele, who is responsible for yellowness, small y is allele, who is responsible for the greenness. Yellow color is dominant over green color. So, capital Y is dominant to small y. As like that, the shape having two contrasting form, 
round and wrinkled. Capital R is R lily, who is controlled the roundness. Small r is R lily, who is controlled the wrinkledness. Round is dominant to wrinkled. So capital R is dominant to small r. Mendel frost, two homozygous pea plant. One is homozygous for yellow and round. Having denoted capital Y, capital Y, capital Y, capital R. Second is green wrinkled. Having denoted small y, small y and small r, small r. This yellow round and green nickel plant forms the parental generation. During gamete formation, the yellow round plant forms gametes carrying only capital Y capital R. Green nickel plant forms gametes carrying only small Y small R. These gametes by the process fertilization combines to form F1 hybrid. This F, in this F1 hybrid, according to phenomenon of dominance and recessiveness, capital Y express when the capital Y express it produces the yellowness. When capital R express, it produces the roundness. So, phenotype of F1 hybrid is yellow and round. So, Mendel allowed cell pollination of this F1 hybrid. During cell pollination, this F1 hybrid forms four types of gametes. Capital Y, capital R, capital Y, small r, small Y, capital R, then small Y, small r. Then, before we discuss about this, so first we will understand the rules of the gamete formation. During the gamete formation, Alleles for same character separates and combines with alleles of another character to form the gamete. For example, the capital Y small Y, these are two alleles for the color. Capital R small R, these are the two alleles for the shape. During gamete formation, capital Y small Y separate, capital R small R separate. After that, alleles for color combine the alleles for the shape to form the gamete. This capital Y first form the capital R to form gamete capital Y capital R. Capital Y, small r, small y, capital R, small y, small r. These gametes fuse randomly to produce the plants of F2 generation. Actually, Mendel obtained 556 plants in F2 generation. Out of 556 plants, 315 plants showing phenotype yellow round, 101 plants showing phenotype yellow wrinkle, 108 plants showing phenotype green round, and 32 plants showing phenotype green and nickel. So ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So the phenotypy ratio of Mendel's dihybrid cross is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Occurrence of four types of plants in F2 generation shows that the factors for each of the two characters are sorted out independently of others. This can be explained simply like the alleles of one gene do not depend upon alleles of another gene to transfer from one generation to next generation. For example, alleles for color, that is capital Y, small y, alleles for shape, capital R and small r, they do not depend upon each other to transfer from one generation to next generation. So, this is the basis of law of independent assortment. The law of independent assortment is not free from limitation. So, linkage is the Limitation of law of independent assortment. We will prepare a separate video for the linkage. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this video is informative, worthful, please like, subscribe and share.